New tonight, you may have heard the term polar vortex, but what exactly is it? Chief Meteorologist Tim Pandagius explains what's behind the phenomenon. Have you ever wondered why some winters seem to hit us with intense bone chilling cold while others are more bearable? Well, a lot of it has to do with something called the polar vortex. The polar vortex is this massive area of really cold air high up in the atmosphere. Normally it hangs out way above the North Pole, spinning like a giant icy carousel. This spinning motion is super important because it's part of what keeps that freezing air contained up north. But here's where things get interesting. Our friend the polar vortex, well, doesn't work alone. It's closely tied to the jet stream, a fast moving river of air that flows high above the earth. When the jet stream is strong, it acts like a sturdy fence. This happens because of big pressure differences between warmer and colder air, which keep the jet stream moving fast and straight. That fence does a great job of keeping the polar vortex and all that cold air right where it belongs in the Arctic. But when the jet stream weakens, it's a whole different story. A weakened jet stream gets wobbly like a loose rope in the wind. And when that happens, it can't hold back the polar vortex as well. The cold air starts spilling south, reaching places it normally wouldn't. That's when we get those frigid Arctic blasts. Those days when it feels like your eyelashes might freeze just from stepping outside. So the next time you're bundled up during a deep freeze, you can thank or blame the polar vortex and its dance with the jet stream. Science, right? Always keeping us on our toes, or in this case, extra warm socks. Stay cozy out there. I'm Chief Meteorologist Tim Pandagis.